This is that extension cord for the dryer. And I got it plugged into my RV over here. That you can wire a 220 dryer to 110 household sockets off an extension cord, any kind of three wire cord you might have. Now, here comes the tricky part. The back of your dryer. It looks kind of finagled, but it's really not. What it is, is your hot, is your black wire, which runs to your red, your white, which runs to your neutral, and then your ground, that also goes to your white, they're wired together, and this is your jumper. Ah, shocked me, sorry. This is your jumper. It goes from here, and it goes all the way over to your black. Be careful when you're messing with these, okay? Okay, so this is your black jumper. It's all the way over to your other hot, which is your black, and this is your red. The middle is white, which is for your neutral and your ground from your dryer. Your ground from your wire gets hooked up to your dryer. Now, as you notice, look at the wire. Black goes to the red that's hot. White goes to the middle, which is neutral or ground. And your ground for your dryer. And you got your jumper wire. It goes from black on the back of your dryer to the red with the black wire that you already hooked up from your electrical wire. So, I'll take a look at that. We can do that again. And this is all hooked up to the regular indoor outdoor extension cord. I got this idea from a guy that's doing solar panels. He took a 120 dryer just like what I got and wired it up the same way. And we're gonna set the setting on there. I don't know, it's already set. And we just go over here and push it. And it works like a charm. Now I don't know about the drying time because this is the first time doing it. It actually works pretty good. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, you can see it all shaking and everything over here. It works. If you can catch it spinning. I don't know. I have to move this chain. Alright. You can call it however you see it. We call it rednecking or jerry rigging. I don't know. But this method actually works. Just be careful because you can get a little shock if you're messing with the wires behind it. You're trying to catch it spinning. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that. But it actually works. That's 220 going to 110 household electrical wire to a household socket on 110. So 220 can be converted. Just have to be careful. Know what you're doing. Let's check it one more time. This is black going to red on your electrical uh, cord. Black wire going to the red hot on the back. The white ones going to middle ground. From your dryer going to the middle white one. And then from your electrical cord, your green cords going to the middle of the dryer. Then over here on your red hot of the back of the dryer is a jumper cord, which is going from the red hot over to the black hot. Make sure you got that hooked up because I tried like five different ways and it will not work any other way. So, black to the red hot 
white to the middle white and then green from the electrical wire goes to the, dry, the back of the dryer bolted on and you got your jumper wire which is uh, the black hot going over to the red hot and this is setup actually works really well I've already ran it like three or four times today and that's it like the video subscribe a comment uh, hit the bell for notifications for more videos uh, thanks for your time you guys have a blessed one